I am still trying to catch my breath. Hacksaw Ridge is directed by Mel Gibson, written by Robert Shankan and Andrew Knight, and it stars Andrew Garfield, Vince Vaughn, Sam Worthington, Teresa Palmer, and Hugo Weaving, among a huge cast of characters. This tells the story of real-life army medic Desmond Dawes, who fought in the Battle of Okinawa, and he went into the battlefield without any guns. He would not use a weapon, and he became the first conscientious objector in army history to receive a gold medal. After seeing this movie, I am broken. This movie broke me. It at some points became too real. Mel Gibson is a master behind the camera. The way he shoots around in this movie, he has scenes where no one says a single word of dialogue. He has scenes that just let you absorb the emotions of the characters and what is going on around them. You just see their eyes, their heavy breathing, the sweat dropping from their heads, the blood that is around them, the wounds they have on their bodies, the battlefield surrounding them full of dead bodies already. Midway through this movie, the soldiers enter the battlefield and I gotta say, this maybe tops Steven Spielberg's opening of Saving Private Ryan. At the very least, it ties with it. From the moment the soldiers get to the battlefield, this feels like a true horror movie. From the visuals, to the music, to the color palettes, the shots, what is in the frame, what is not in the frame, everything is frightening to see. As I said, at some points, this movie feels too real. That's because it was real and Mel Gibson was impeccable in capturing it on film. I believe this is one of the best war movies of all time. Basically, once you get to the second act of this movie, it's all battle. These soldiers are on the battlefield fighting for their lives and you get the continuation of the setup that you did with the characters. In the beginning of this movie, you get to know Desmond Doss. You get to know his life, how he is. This man is very, very religious. He has a very good, well-done backstory. And once he's in the camp training to go to war, you get absolutely and only the necessary characterization to every single one of these characters that you will get to know to feel for them and once the battle comes you feel for them. Andrew Garfield was great. I do not care for this actor. I have never thought of him as a very good actor. Never cared for a single one of his performances. He is really really good in this movie. I mean he's just so vulnerable and his strength is his belief, his conviction in religion. But what I like to see in this movie is that it's not preachy. This character does not try to make others believe in what he believes. He believes in this, he wants to believe this, he doesn't try to make others see things the way he does. Religion is basically just a characterization for this character and that is that there's no preachiness in this movie about God and religion. The way you get to feel for this character about his convictions is a staple on humankind. He has struggles from the moment this movie opens to the mo- He has struggles from the moment this movie opens to the moment this movie closes. And this character is very well analyzed. This is a character piece through and through, and Andrew Garfield did a great job. A few years ago, I was sure that J.K. Simmons would win the Best Supporting Actor Award for his role in Whiplash. At this point in time, I am sure Hugo Weaving will do the same for his role in this. It's much a smaller role than J.K. Simmons did in Whiplash, but he brings it home. Hugo Weaving is a great actor, we all know that, but in this movie, he plays this dickhead of a father who's an alcoholic, who treats his sons and his wife really bad, yet you like the guy because you understand why he is the way he is. There is one scene, and it's very quick, at the dinner table where you get very little dialogue, where his first son enlists in the war and you just see this man completely breaking 
down. That's the first time I cried in this movie. Sam Worthington, an actor I always believed in, gives a very good performance in this as well, although a very small one. But the one who shined the most because it was so surprising was Luke Bracey and his bond with Desmond Dawes. I love this guy in this movie. He is an asshole, but you like him nonetheless. A very different asshole than Hugo Weaving, but still an asshole. But then you get to understand this character and the way he thinks, the way he rationalizes things, just like all the other characters in camp with Desmond Dawes, and it works. The characters work. The cinematography is beautiful. This movie's tone is very very consistent. And the war scenes as they are in the Battle of Okinawa are just simply amazing. I believe Mel Gibson just reinvented the war genre. The way he shoots around this movie, I cannot emphasize enough how well this movie is directed. From the scenes you have of characters just speaking about their times at home, and then you have characters speaking about why they are here doing this, why they believe in the war, why they want to fight in the war. That's something you would expect to see in this movie. It doesn't feel cliched at all because you feel so much for these characters and I think it is a shame not many people have heard of this man. There's a point in this movie where he's completely lost in a battlefield. He's alone. Not going to tell you what point of the movie it is, but man, it breaks you down in tears. As I said, this movie broke me. The characters, the directing, the music. This movie's pacing is absolutely flawless. I do have one gripe of this movie. I do have one gripe of this movie and it's very small, but that is that some characters could have had a little well tied knot at the end of the story arc. And that's it. I felt for every character. I felt for the story. At some points, this movie is very hard to watch. It is not a movie that you will pop on your Blu-ray player every single day. It is not a movie that you will stick and watch on TV every time it comes on. But it is a movie that every fan of film should watch. It is a movie that every war buff and history buff should watch. And I think everyone should know the story of this man. And this movie will break you. Brilliant directing, brilliant acting, perfect pacing, and in my mind, a reinvention of the war genre. A horror movie on its own when you are in the battlefield. Hacksaw Ridge is probably on my top three movies of the year, and I say that it is absolutely a kneel before me. What did you think of Hacksaw Ridge, my beautiful geekies? Are you a fan of war films? Let me know what is your favorite war film in the comments below. And what is your favorite Mel Gibson movie if you have one? Let me know all that in the comments below, as well as your questions. Hashtag Fantastic Moana Q&A. Just ask me anything you want about anything you want, and you might win something on the giveaway. I just got a screener today and I will do a surprise review tomorrow and I will do another poll on my Facebook page on Saturday for you to vote for a review on Saturday so stay tuned for that and my beautiful geekies thank you so much for watching you guys are the best please go watch this movie stay beautiful stay geeky Cheers!